something broken. Neighbours caught Meg smashing all dishes as Haz new Thanksgiving photo kisses his ex. Yesterday, Montecito residents revealed they heard a loud scream coming from Harry and Meghan's mansion. Soon after, Meghan angrily smashed the dishes in the kitchen. According to rumours, Meghan went crazy after seeing Harry's Instagram post of him enjoying turkey with his ex-girlfriend at her house on Thanksgiving. Prince Harry has reportedly decided to pack his bags and leave due to ongoing fights with Meghan Markle. These claims have been made by an inside source close to Women's Day, New Zealand. According to the source, the couple is currently battling several disagreements over their upcoming projects, from the Netflix docuseries to the naming decision for Spare. Word is, he blames Meghan for going off the plan and saying too much of her own truth in the docuseries. And as he learned from how the Oprah interview was picked apart, her truth isn't always the truth. According to reports out of the US, the couple were seen treating themselves to dinner last week without the kids at the Duchess, a low-key Burmese bakery restaurant in Ojai, California, but sources say the relaxing evening soon turned sour. They were having a nice time chatting over some tandoori chicken about the kids and school and the upcoming US election. You know, usual husband and wife stuff, says the source. They blended in at first, but then things got frosty between them. The source further reveals that the 38-year-old British prince got up and walked out towards the end of their meal, leaving the 41-year-old former actress and their fellow diners stunned. The Duchess is a fairly intimate sort of place where it's hard not to notice if the people at the next table are bickering. Ojai is a celebrity-friendly place, but it was a surprise to see them there given they've all Santa Barbara's best restaurants outside the door. A source close to the Sussexes said this is just the latest in a long list of rows the couple has had following a hectic couple of weeks. They are stressed and they have a few big projects coming out soon and Harry, who's always been loved by the public, is particularly nervous about how he'll be received given he seems to have lost his golden touch. Meghan, meanwhile, is fixated on Harry's family and whether they'll allow her children to have and use their royal titles. For Harry, that's the least of his problems, and he's getting sick of talking about it when there's bigger things going on. If she brought up the prince and princess stuff for Archie and Lily, especially in public in a small town where gossip spreads like wildfire, there's no doubt he would have got huffy, the source explains. In other news, publicity of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's award has sparked a major amount of suspicion. Daily Mail's diary editor Richard Eden made these admissions to host Joe Elvin. He started by addressing the suspicious nature of Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award and claimed, Sorry, I don't want to be too suspicious, but it does make you if they've cooked up this sort of prize. It comes, I think, four days after William and Catherine are in Boston, you know, as you say, for getting involved with the JFK library and getting the Earthshot prize, or giving it out. Then, you know, something for Harry and Meghan a few days later, it all seems a bit weird as if it's got caught up in some sort of Kennedy politics. At this point, the host chimed in to say, cynics might say, not me, that they wanted Harry and Meghan at this prestigious award, getting the award, and that they had to think of a way to make that something. In Mr. Eden's eyes, clearly it's got them lots of attention, we're all talking about it, and maybe that's what they wanted. Maybe they want, you know, attention for their organisation, so good luck to them. But I don't think we really need to pay too much attention to this, you know, so-called Human Rights Award.